financial accounting, we're looking at financial performance. And in specifics, we're going to look at vertical analysis. Vertical analysis is coming down and looking at the composition or the proportionality between the various elements of a balance sheet or an income statement. Now, we're going to look at a balance sheet this time, but we could do the same thing for an income statement. If we were to do vertical analysis for an income statement, 100% would be equal to net sales. And every other element in that income statement would be expressed as a proportion or a fraction of net sales. When we do a balance sheet, such as in short exercise 5, what we do is we take our income, or our balance sheet here. Notice CA is current assets, property, plant, and equipment equals total assets. Total assets are going to be equal to 100%. Now, if current assets are expressed as a proportion of total assets, 48,000 divided by 308,000, we would find that it's 15.6%. So current assets are about 15% of total assets. Property, plant, and equipment as a proportion or a fraction of total assets would be 260,000 divided by 308,000, or 84.4%. Notice that the property, plant, and equipment as a proportion of assets and current assets as a, as a proportion of assets have to tie back to 100%. Likewise, if I look at liabilities and stockholders' equity, we know that total liabilities plus stockholders' equity has to equal 100%. That means uh, I will express each one of these elements as a fraction of total liabilities plus stockholders' equity. So current liabilities of 36,000 divided by 308,000 means current liabilities are about 11.7% of the, of the total. Long-term liabilities, 180,000 divided by 308,000 is 58. 0.4%. And stockholders' equity, 92 divided by uh, 308,000 is 29.9%. Well, that's nice that we've broken down X7 as, a, as proportions, but it really helps if you have something to compare it to. So we used to compare it to either the industry standards, what we had forecasted, or the previous year. So let's look at X6 as well. X6 total assets uh, came to 240,000. Thus 40 as a proportion is 16.7%. Uh, property, plant, and equipment, 200 divided by 240 is 83.3%. So between these years, what's happened? Well, you can see that current assets are decreasing in total in overall and property plant and equipment is increasing. So does that show you that the company is what focusing more on acquiring more property plant and equipment overall than it is of growing its current assets? Well let's see how do they finance this growth in property plant and equipment. Current liabilities uh, for X6 were 44 divided by 240 is 18.3 percent. Long-term liabilities, which usually finance uh, property, plant, and equipment, is 50 percent of the total. And stockholders' equity, 76 divided by 240, is 31.7 percent. So as you can see, when I look at my liabilities, uh, current liabilities are shrinking as a proportion overall. Long-term liabilities are growing. Why would they grow? Well, because you bought more property, plant, and equipment, and you usually finance those long term. You just don't go in and say, hey, I want to buy a car today. Here's the cash. You, uh, what, many times finance it. Uh, and then stockholders' equity, again, is, is, is not uh, in an upward trend. So what we're looking at here is um, some, some 
desire to ask some better questions, isn't it? So notice that vertical analysis may not answer all your questions, but it certainly allows you to ask better ones.